Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel, a grim tale, adapted by Joel Loesch, illustrated by Kevin Menk. Once upon a time, there was a boy and girl named Hansel and Gretel. They lived with their father, a poor woodcutter, in a little house beside the forest. Often the family went to bed hungry because there was not enough food to eat. One day, the woodcutter took his children into the forest to gather wood. Hansel and Gretel laughed and played so hard that they wandered from their father and were soon lost. Their father looked for them the rest of that day. Fortunately, Hansel had many of his favorite pebbles with him, and they had fallen to the ground one by one from the holes in his pockets. The children followed the path of shiny pebbles by moonlight back to their home. Their father was very happy to see them, but warned Hansel and Gretel to stay close to home and not to wander away. A week later, the children went to play in the forest again. They did not heed their father's warning and wandered far from home, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs behind them to follow back home. But the breadcrumbs were eaten by the birds in the forest, and so Hansel and Gretel realized that they were lost. The children became tired and very hungry as they roamed through the forest. Suddenly, there through the trees they saw a strange little house made of cake and candy. They ran to the house and began eating from it furiously. There were cake shingles and candy shutters. The windows were made of sugar. The flowers were lollipops. As they started to take a bite from the chocolate door, it opened. Out stepped an old woman with a wart on her nose. Who's eating my house, she said. The children were startled at first, but the old lady seemed very kind. Hansel and Gretel apologized for eating from her house. We haven't eaten in such a long time, they said. The old lady took them in and fed them some good, wholesome food. This will fatten you up, she said slyly. It wasn't long before the old lady's kindly spirit wore off. She snarled and ordered the children to work from morning till night. She had Gretel scrubbing floors and cleaning the oven. Hansel had to repair a broken table and gather heavy wood for the stove. Only a witch would act like this, Gretel told Hansel. Still, the witch fed them well. Hansel and Gretel even gained a little weight. One night, as the witch stoked the coals in her oven, Gretel heard her cackle. Tonight, I'll have Hansel and Gretel for dinner. At that, Gretel sneaked up behind the witch and pushed her into the oven. The witch was destroyed by the flames, and the oven became so hot that the house caught fire. As Hansel and Gretel ran to the door, they came across chests full of gems and coins of gold. They gathered as much as they could into two potato sacks and then fled from the house. They ran until they could run no farther. They sat beneath a tree to catch their breath. Suddenly, they heard a voice call out, Hansel, Gretel. It was their father who had been searching for them since the day they were lost. They ran to their father's loving embrace. Look, father, Hansel exclaimed, opening a sack. More gold than we've ever dreamed of. You'll never be poor or hungry again. From that day on, Hansel and Gretel lived happily ever after with their father in the little house beside the forest. And they never went wandering again. The end. Hansel and Gretel, the classic children's tale of two lost children, a house of cake and candy, a mean old witch, and a golden happy ending. We hope you like this story. Please subscribe. Thank you.